Hello and today I'll be showing you how to use a Marco Maker. The first step, we're going to pull this tab out. Really, really hard if you're using one hand. And then we'll pull this off. And make sure you're having this lay down. Grab your tweezers. i will just move my camera down. Grab your tweezers. And then we're going to move the camera back up. Move the tray out the way. And then we're going to get the nib sorted out. We're going to grab one of these things if you have any. You should have some. And then we'll be putting them in like that. Sorry about my dog, he's barking a lot. <laughs> we're going to put that in like that and it should be in place. And let's see what colour we should make. Now we're going to get a marker barrel, a nib, which can be found at the back of the unit. Can be tricky sometimes. Grab a nib, and then put it in the marker barrel, and then we're going to pull this up and putting it in the center hole. And now we're going to grab our ink. I'm going to make blue. Actually, I'm going to make red. We're going to fill this all to 15. Okay. Somebody spells it outside. Say your phone. I have a feeling there could be your phones. There, that's it to my 15. And then a little 15 mark on there. And now we're going to grab one of our cores and put it in like that. And watch it rise. And this usually takes around five minutes. Did you go outside? Okay. So we will see it come up right now and we'll put our timer. We'll uh, wait for that to rise fully and get all that ink in there. We've got our tweezers ready. Yeah. Camera. It's, and you need to wait for all that to go. And just give it a there's still some in there. It's still dissolving. Dissolving. It can be messy. Make sure you don't get this is stainable. This can stain your top or clothes. Um, and yeah. It can stain. Okay. We're going to move this over here. Grab the main unit. And we're going to grab the tweezers. And hold on really tight and put it. In a barrel. Ooh. And you're allowed to follow along with me if you like. You're allowed. I don't say it's alright. It is alright with me. I'll put that in there. And if you have to wash these out, because you don't want to, when your next marker comes out, it might come out weird, because you don't want that. So, got that tweezers back in, and now we're going to grab a plug. And we're going to put that in there. Grab this handle. I'll just zoom out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to use my two hands for this. Wait for two clicks. That's our two clicks. And then we're going to grab a cap. And we're going to wait for two minutes. If you want to, you can experiment and put this in the machine. And not like that, but it won't work. It'll make it easier, but yeah. Yeah, it took easily four minutes to make that marker, which is pretty decent for Crayola. You won't expect that from this company, which Crayola, which it seems like it just seems pretty quick to make a marker, which, yeah, we're going to wait two minutes. Wait two minutes. For this to rise down. Rise up. 
Actually, I'm gonna put it up here. Not upright, if you just feel crazy enough. But I wanna show you how it goes up. Try and get that focus. Okay. Five minutes and 20 seconds I've been recording for. You can see it's starting to come up. Let's label these after. Slowly coming up. Come on. We'll take this lid off and make it funner. And then after that, you can test these markers out. I've got some paper here, you can see. Some paper. You need paper, of course. And and your texture, of course. And you can test this out. Um, this, these kits, I'll link the product in the description if you want to get one for yourself. Uh, it's, it came, it's an Australian website. I'll put Smith's Toys for the UK and maybe Walmart for America. If you want me to, and yeah, it's still raising up the nib. It's pretty quick if I zoom in. That's as far as I can go. It stops maybe. Okay, let's have his face down, maybe. I'll just wait. But, let's just see if I can just, yeah, that's ink. Yeah, it's ink. Yeah, I'll link all the description where you can buy these things. So if you want to get one for yourself, you can. But if I, I'll, I'll link him on Amazon maybe, and you can buy him anywhere. And I'll link him on Kmart if you're in Australia. Australia, that's where I'm from. There we go. I love the logo on the front. Love it. Come on. It's slowly going up. Definitely going up. Easy 10 minutes. You can see um, the dog in the background, it's a weighted one. So, yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's still pretty soft. I'll just come back and get my other markers that I made. Okay, looks like the nib's nearly up there. Come on. Nearly made it to the nib. Yeah, we'll hopefully get this through in 10 minutes. And by the way, I'm Aiden Builds. <laughs> Aiden Cubing, aka Aiden Builds. I'll just show you something. If you want to see a review of this, Ah. This Rubik's Cube, it's a Kmart cheap knockoff. It's from Moyu, which is unexpected. It's really fast. It's really fun to solve. It's shuffled for no reason because my brother doesn't know how to solve it. 
I got bread. Yeah, you're ready. Hi, buns. Put that cap on. Here, let's test these out. Yeah, his nibs are not in the right spot. Oh shit. Let's test these out. Quickly. I'll show you all my colors I made earlier. This is the one we made now. It's a little bit hair going because it's not quite that ready. And we got this one. Oh, that's a nice color. And got this one. Oh, that's a nice color as well. I got this one. Oh, that's a nice color. Purple. And we got this blue. Yeah, it's blue, it's standard blue. That's it. And hope you enjoy this video of this product. Uh, I never do product reviews on my brother's YouTube channel. I'm taking it over for a little bit of the day. Hope you enjoy and hope you like this video. And yeah. Oh, crap. And hope you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I just have to wash my hands quickly. And enjoy the video. Thank you. Swim.